Hello, hello, sexy viewers who are watching my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XI. Uh, I've got more assaults on the table. There are a total of 50 assaults, so uh, we're going to be at it for quite a while. I mean, like like I said, I'm not going to do them all like in one chunk of the Let's Play or whatever. It's just, it's where my character's at right now. Uh, since last time, I got every single job at level 75. Although I don't, I do not have full merits still. Merits uh, take forever these days, at least at this level. Uh, I know that it's probably more efficient, far more efficient to just level to 99 and then merit at 99, because you can like cleave XP and get far more EXP per per hour. Um, but uh, meh. And uh, as far as this Troll Fugitives one goes, apparently it's just running into Halvung and chasing down some trolls and killing them. Uh, as far as I can tell, I don't think there's too much special about it. Uh, kill all of the broken t troll soldiers. They start out somewhat wounded, making them easy to kill. Um, their health ranges from 25 to 75 percent. We're basically chasing down trolls that lost a battle with the Empire. Uh, I guess. They can use two-hour abilities. Beware of hundred fists. Some of the trolls group together, so make sure you've got a sleeper, which we do, because we're, we're red mage. Watch your time carefully. Send someone to the Rune of Release early if you get are getting short on time. To maximize time, kill the trolls in this order based on the map. And it gives me a bunch of coordinates. If you do the killing in this order, the rune of release will be just east of the G9 troll. Sometimes the trolls will two hour immediately upon being engaged. Uh, there's a lot of old testimonials on this salt page. Can be completed by four people with this setup. Can be completed by three people with this setup. If you're not a scrub, you can complete it with this setup, etc., etc., etc. I honestly don't know if we'll be able to complete it, but I assume that we will be able to because, I mean, it's just killing again, and two hours don't really scare me. Like, I'm a red mage. Go figure. I mean, I mean, obviously that doesn't mean I'm invincible, but... Like, if we die, like, if it winds up being too much to the me for me, oh well. But... Eh. Eh. I think we'll be okay. Doesn't mention if there's other monsters around on the map. I guess we can check with wide scan. Wow, we buffing. Okay, it doesn't look like it. So it looks like we're just gonna run in and kill. No need to worry about any of that nonsense. And I guess we'll use in water because I guess trolls are like earth and fire. And uh, I don't know, bar petrify and bar fire, I guess. Trolls are really physical. Like they have. You know, they've got HP, they've got defense and stuff like that, so... Okay. I don't know if I not put haste on yet. I'm so bad about that, I'll like do every other buff and then haste last and I'll be like, oh, whoops. But yeah, okay, so let's see, it said do... I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna go at the map. I'm just gonna go at the map. I don't give a fuck about this this order. It's too too much to take in. Uh, just gonna fight these fuckers one at a time. Give me old paralyzed two slow cocktail. And, uh, probably get DF three going on them as well. Usually you can tell a troll's job by its weapon, so I would assume this is a warrior because he's not casting any magic. 
Looks like we got a Paladin over there, and then maybe another Warrior. What do you do, my strikes? Yeah, he's a Warrior. I called it. But Beastmen don't always... Um, adhere to player restrictions on gear. Kind of like how the Mammal Ninjas all use hand-to-hand. -hand, instead of Katanas. Gonna be another assault where Savage Blade does a lot of work. I guess if I run into one that 100 fists me, I'll hit it with Bio 3 and Blind 2 and hope for the best. And hope that. Like, Paralyzed will obviously be, be pretty important to that. But, uh, I don't even remember this assault at all, so I don't think it was anything to write home about back in the day. Yep, this out. Interrupted his protect cast. It's one thing I love about assaults is that the monsters, they're freshly spawned in when you start the assault. So the faster you go, the less opportunity you give them to buff. And so speed is, and movement speed and stuff like that, it's like super important. Ugh. My, my recommendation if you were like having trouble with movement speed for assaults, right, like, and you didn't want to be Red Mage, like, as, as like another half of this, is, uh, I'd, I'd like level Ninja and get the AF feet and do assaults at nighttime, because at nighttime you could run around with 25% movement speed. And, uh, that would let you, you know, overcome a lot of the time issues. And then beyond that, if you were going to do assaults after leveling to 99, I would do the Secrets of Adolin expansion uh, and get the Schnednik Ring. I think it's called the Schnednik Ring. Um... It's got... It's a ring that gives... Like, resist gravity, resist bond, resist whatever. And it, uh... It gives plus 18% movement speed. And since it's a ring, it can be used on all jobs. Uh, it's, it's also, it's a reward ring for beating Seekers of Adolin. This guy looks like a monk. It's, uh, it's a bio 3 going on him. And we'll, uh... Blind him, too. buddy. Do, do your hundred fist. Do your worst. You know you want to. You know you want to. Go ahead two hour, my boy. Yeah, he's got counter. He's definitely a monk. Oh, he guarded an attack. He's definitely a monk. You gonna two hour me or not, douchebag? I really love assaults like this, though, that, like, showcase that, like, you know, being a mercenary, like, this is this is a pretty dirty job, honestly, right? Like, the, the troll mercenaries, they're not actually evil or anything. They, their employer is a moblin named Megomac or whatever, and he employs them to fight the Empire because he's trying to get the Empire's, like, chima data on chimeras and other scientific stuff. And he just paid them a lot of money, right? They're just they're just mercenaries. Like they're not evil. And uh, these guys are obviously they obviously retreated from a battle that they lost. 
before. Maybe they won the battle, but, but either way, they, they retreated. They're, they're like trying to get away. And uh, it says they're fugitives, so I would assume they're prisoners. That, that they like they did a prison break or something. It seems like a ranger. We probably want to have shadows up in case he uses the last shot. Oh no! Okay, he's got Dia. He's a red mage. Interesting. So he'll have chain spell, which could be a problem, but it could also just be him casting like poison over and over again. Although, whenever monsters tend to chain spell, they tend to default to their highest, most powerful spells or their most useless ones. Close enough to dead. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna TP him to death and save TP for a next roll. We're gonna need to rebuff haste and stuff. Which I'll go ahead and do. Let's see, we want in water back. And haste and refresh and regen probably couldn't hurt either. How hard was he hitting us when he was hitting us? 54? Okay. Yeah, regen will make actually kind of a difference for that. If, say, we get 100 fists and the debuff don't stop most of it. Well, since we got a lot of TP, let's take this one with higher, higher HP. Looks like a monk. The nice thing is, is we can use Dia first, and uh, the hundred fists we can we can uh, then overwrite Dia with Bio, but you can't overwrite Bio with Dia. I love end spells. Even when he guards physical hits and reduces their damage, the end spell damage goes through and does full damage to him. When a red mage has buffing time, they are rough customers. They are deadly. But it's really all about the gear you have. Because, uh,. Without good gear, <coughs> I would not be hitting as hard or doing as well as I am. I mean, my inspell could probably still be pretty beefy, because most of my inspell damage is coming from composure and merits. Eh. Oh, and, and my enhancing skill. Oh, through another monk monster without, uh, without 100 fists happening, how about that? Paralyze him just in case. I'm not gonna savage blade his ass. No, oh. he guarded. He guarded the savage blade. Yeah, monk monsters can be pretty hard to fight sometimes because they uh, they can guard physical weapon skills and reduce the damage significantly. Like every monk monster has capped guard skill, and like guard is essentially, it's like, uh, I want to say it's like a 80% uh, damage reduction. Possibly more for, for physical hits. It's like, not as good as a parry, right? Parrying completely blocks the damage of a parry. But guarding, you know, it's just done with your hands and your arms. And uh, so it's only an 80% reduction. Okay, so I guess we go back to the bridge now. Uh, we got about 16 minutes left. I don't know how many more trolls there are. I assume 
there's going to be, uh, like, let's see, we've killed three there, three there, and one there. Is that seven? We killed seven trolls, is that right? Okay, so it looks like one there, and then three down there. Where's the rune of release? G9. Uh, whatever. Uh, whatever. No, never. Hardly ever. I, punk. I, I gotta dispel that now. How dare you. And I love when debuffs just proc over and over again on monsters and they don't even do anything. Because that happens so much to me as a player. Like, especially back in the day, on like any of the jobs I played. Uh, the jobs I, I played back in the day, you know, it was, it was Warrior was my first job, Thief was my second, Ninja was my third, and Samurai was my fourth. And more or less, Warrior has like no evasion. It's like a glass cannon, like it hits really hard, but then like, uh, okay, there's three trolls, we got six trolls left, huh, I think time's gonna be kind of tight on this. Guys starting out Fire 3. It's like, I mean business. Get that Paladin if we can. Build my composure, you son of a bitch. Paralyzed is really coming through for us. Guys, chain spell. Come on now. There we go. That's right, your shell's paralyzed, motherfucker. I probably should have brought an Icarus Link for this one, just to have an extra weapon skill to speed up killing some of these. Uh, definitely have been nice. Oh, no, no instant stuns again. Oh well. I guess it could be bad if we fought a monk, and the monk did innervation, because that's defense and magic defense down, and defense down is pretty bad, uh, right before a highly physical, highly dangerous two-hour ability, but, eh.
So that was two, and we had six left, so now we got four left. One at the end of this tunnel, and then three back the other way. Or something like that. Red Mage's greatest strength is its ability to buff itself ad nauseum, but like being able to buff yourself is also kind of a weakness because there's some fights in the game that just uh, they like despell you over and over again. Kind of like Seiryu when he spams uh, dispelling roar back to back and uh, totally wipes my trust out because they're they're like, oh no, protect us down. I need to cast Protectra. weapon. Broken Troll Soldier seems almost like a play on words, like Broken Toy Soldier. Okay, so the other ones are the other way. And hopefully, hopefully the three that are in that, like, little dip loop are, like, the last ones we gotta fight, because we're, like, down to, like, ten minutes. We're, get, we're about to get the ten minute warning if we didn't already get it. And, uh... Then we, we still have to run to the rune, which is apparently a G9. Oh, oops, need to turn around. Hey, come on now. I don't even know how that happened. I, th I thought, like, we I was running out of there, and I guess I turned automatically or something? So strange. So strange. But something I'm really glad about in this assault, especially because I'm soloing it, is that there's no other monsters. It's like, if I had to sneak past stuff, or like had to fight other stuff, I'd definitely be out of time already. Oh, there's the 10 minute warning. Okay, we got a paladin, a uh, red mage, and a monk. Now we haven't had a monk use 100 fist on us yet, so I bet that monk is going to be the one that 100 fists us. But if not, then whatever. We've lived through a chain spell though, with relatively minor, minor deal. Oh, invincible. That's going to slow us down. Slightly anyway. We, we won't be able to build TP. Our end spells will go through. Just another good reason to be on Red Mage. No, no shell for you, no reducing my end spell damage by uh, 29, you dick. Yeah, your cure spell is toast, bitch. Okay. Well, Invincible is only 30 seconds long, so... Final Fantasy XI is one of those games that makes defensive options valuable by basically restricting your usage of them. Like, oh, there, okay, yep, 100 fists. Here we go. If worse comes to worse, if he actually starts getting too many hits through and we can start getting low, we'll just chain spell and heal ourselves repeatedly, or, or cast stone skin repeatedly. But I don't think it's really going to be a pro too much of a problem. These trolls, they really don't hit my red mage very hard with Protect 4 and Phalanx going, so... Plus, we have Cat's Parrying, Cat's Evasion. I'm actually using Evasion Food. Um, I think Rock Smash can petrify you, but I put Bar Petra on. Like, I vaguely remember Trolls being able to petrify. And that's why I put it on. But I could be wrong. It might not petrify. It might just be physical damage. 
Just an Earth and Flare. Please be the last troll. I don't want to have to go searching for trolls. Seven in the north and seven in the south would be symmetrical. Trying to get me with bio three, you son of a bitch. It's not gonna work though. Man, the trolls seem so much bigger than my character back in the day. But I guess my character Vyre, like he's a small hume. And he's also that, that one face that's like the, the small teenage boy face or whatever. Okay, I guess that wasn't the rune. Last trolls. Ah, son of a bitch. Figures. I wonder if that means there's like another one up north past, past the other bridge. Because if there is, I don't think we can do this in time. Like, if this if this guy isn't the last troll, then, like, I'm definitely fucked. Because we're about to get the five-minute warning, and it's, like, got to be, like, a two- or three-minute run to where to G9 where the rune's at, so. Definitely another situation where uh, having an Icarus swing would, would definitely pay off. So we can kill him slightly faster. Come on, swing the fucking swords. Slut, healing yourself. How dare you? Only I can heal myself. Oh, look at that. The, the amount you healed has already been taken away. Stop struggling. Goddamn diamond hide piece of shit. Okay, that was the last troll. Awesome. Awesome. We just got the five minute warning just before we killed him. So... It says it's at G9, right? H9. It's at H9. This fucking guy, the wiki is fucking wrong! Imagine that. H9. But is it H9 just south of the bridge, or is it H9... Uh, I think, I'm gonna go south of the bridge. I think we I think we have enough time to where, like, if I'm wrong about where it's at, I, I can course correct and just run, run around the loop. So... We dip down to H10. And boom, 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 boom. We're at H9. Uh, can't tell if that's heat wave happening or if it's okay. So yeah, it's it's just south of the bridge. This this fucking guide is fucking retarded. It said that it would be just east of the troll at G9. The troll at G9 was right here. It was right where we are right now. Motherfuckers, just be fucking specific with your guides when you ride them. Good God, Wiki, it's not that fucking hard. Treasure box. Mystery box. It could be anything. It could even be a boat. Yeehaw, salt points that I don't really care about at this point. Ooh, spring break. Another assault down. <clears throat> We're now up to 20, 20 out of 25 points towards Lance Corporal. It's a beautiful day. Apparently the mystery box can appraise into a bunch of shit. I think the one good thing on the list is the petrified log, and even that by today's standards is garbage.
It's really weird to me that they put all this, like... It's not even middling. Like, there's all this gear that comes from assaults that, like, comes from the appraisal system. Where, like, very occasionally you might see something that's like, Ooh, that would be really good at that level. But it's like, in order to get it, it's like... You know, it's like a fucking, like, corporal rank assault. And, like... If you even did succeed in getting it, you're probably already 75 and don't care about it anymore. <laughs> and, like, these items, like, they appraise so rarely that, like... I just banged my knee really hard on my desk. Ouch. 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 Um, yeah, they appraise so rarely. Uh, let's see, did we... We already did, like... We already did Super Private here, right? Yeah. And then that one was Extermination. That one was Sage Lord. Uh, what was this one again? Oh, yeah, it's Extorting Professor um, Chinois. And I don't know if I actually have what it takes to do that one. So, uh, let's try Imperial Agent Rescue. Because we never did it. And, uh, I think we have a pretty decent chance at, at winning it. The, um, the, um, come on, Rain, work with me here. The goal is to rescue, like, soldiers. And then, other than that, you have to fight mammals. And you have to, like, pull mammals mules in front of these doors. And there's a little bit of RNG involved. Uh, because, like, the mammals have to break the doors for you by weapon skilling. So you need to let them hit you and build TP or whatever. Um, and you're, you're hoping for them to, like throw their weapon because that like breaks the door almost instantly or something and uh I'm just gonna rest my MP real quick the um yeah, the objective of this assault is to rescue the NPC Brujil by tricking the Mamulja into breaking impassable gates. There are three gates as marked on the map. The NPC is trapped in a pot beyond one of the three gates. You may pull Mamulja from the surrounding area to attempt to break a gate. The Mamulja come in three flavors, White Mage, Beastmaster, and Ninja. To break a gate, you must trick the Mamulja into hitting it. Mammals must face the gate. Their moves will miss the gate. Uh, sometimes, even if they are facing it, but they have to face it in order to be able to hit it at all. One weapon throw of an axe or staff that successfully hits the gate will break it instantly. Four fire spits will break a gate. Uh, ninja mammals don't have any weapons, and therefore they are the hardest to break the gates with. And it doesn't say anything about their other TP moves like the uh, somersault kick or anything. Oh right, I have to get command verification even if I'm the only one. You must pay Imperial Standing to lead your assault. That way we know who to blame if you fail and fuck it up. Part of me honestly believes they, they almost probably seriously considered having backwards progress for assault failure. I wonder what that question mark is. Huh. Like, if you failed an assault, you'd lose assault points. But apparently that's not, it's never been a thing. Thank God. If we actually manage to win this assault, though, uh, we'll have enough to rank up to Lance Corporal, and the rank up mission for it's relatively simple. 
So that'd be nice to get in. This is also one of those assaults that's actually harder to do at higher levels. Because if you uncap it and you come in here for item level, the monsters can't hit you. Because their highest level is like whatever like like eighty or whatever, like they're 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 very tough or tough to seventy five. Be challenging or whatever. But not too challenging. And uh but item level breaks the assault. Like, there's one later on called Azure Ailments. I can't remember if it's a Chief Sergeant or if it's a Second Lieutenant. But, like, you go in and this Blue Mage wants you to, uh, well, Soul Flayer, I guess. He says they've come down with Kraken Flu and they need you to, uh, test some ailments for them or whatever. And so they want you to run around to different monsters and basically, um, Basically debuff yourself with with like slow and virus and a few other things. And every time you get a status ailment, you've gotta go back to the the Soul Flare Blue Mage and uh, talk to him and he's like, Oh yes, yes, this will help our data. And uh, okay, so we got those gates in the back I guess is where we gotta go. It's been so long since I've been in here. Uh -huh. Once a gate breaks, click pot hatch to open the cage. If you're lucky, Brugil will appear in that moment in the warp to safety. Uh, because naturally you can only cast warp if you're not stuck in a pot. If the pot's empty, move to another gate. The rune of release will appear in the dead end room at J8 after Brugil is rescued. Uh, okay. What, do we gotta pull the mammals from all the way over there, all the way over to these cells? I hope not. <laughs> so that, that'll be a lot of back and forth. Plus, there's not that many mammals over Okay, thank god, there's, there's m m mammals close by. I'm kind of surprised that, um... I'm kind of surprised that, uh... Oh, thanks to wide scan, we can see which one's the skip. Because cause some, some of these, uh... Some of these cells, the ones that have mammals in them, are, are, are not the ones that have Brugil. Although, wait, they don't look like they have doors. Okay, that's a ninja. What if we can get a different mammal for this door right here? Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh, ooh, a white mage. That, that works, that works. Uh, we don't want to paralyze or slow them. Uh, I guess just, uh... I don't know, poison? Like, we want them to be able to build TP. So, like, we want them to come along and actually hit us and, you know, get TP. Supposedly, these monsters are tooled differently from other monsters, and they will, uh, go ahead and TP at 100% TP, even uh, even if uh, 
I hope he's close enough to the gate. Guess we'll find out. Also, I hope we don't break his weapon with like crits. Cause that would suck. Stay toss. Excellent. One gate down. Yeah, this is another assault where you could have your team sort of uh, split up. You can send one mage and like two DDs south, and, you know, vice versa. Of course. Okay, let's see. Is this one empty? This looks empty. I sure as hell don't see anybody hopping out and being like, Oh, you failed me! <laughs> so, let's see. Looks like we gotta go south. And... More ninjas. Don't want a ninja. I'd, I'd like a Beastmaster next if I could get one. We might have to settle for a ninja, though. I think there's a Beastmaster in that, that center cell, because I see two red dots, and I kind of doubt, um, I kind of doubt that he's, there's two mammals in there. Yep, mammals, lizard. Okay, awesome. Uh, I'm going to get him with Bio. Bio would probably be a good, good thing to have. Lower their attack power, but, uh, we need them to hit them, so like, or ow, Jesus, that's a strong lizard hit, I'm killing your lizard, dude. There, Mr. Mamoja Warder. <coughs> I think you're facing the gate good enough. I hope. Please do your axe throw. Also, please hit me for damage so that you can. Not warm up, douche nozzle. Let's turn our end spell off. Worst comes to worst, we can stand still. Come on, throw your axe. You know you want to throw your axe. Come on now. There you go. Door number two. And? Nope. Doesn't look like it. So it's looking like we're going to have to settle for a ninja or two. Because uh, I think the only thing left around here is ninjas. Unless we wanted to run all the way back to the start and try to drag one of the white mages or something from over there. Unfortunate, but we've only got one more gate to break, so not that unfortunate. It'll take four fire spits, though, so kind of unfortunate. But we've got about 19 minutes left, so... Uh, this ninja cooperates and does fire spit a lot. I think we'll be fine.
Yeah, cast you to semi, you slut. I guess while we're taking a beating, we could just put on, uh, like, I don't know, uh, I guess that's fine. Is it daytime? I don't know if it's daytime or not. Meh. We've got our defending ring on. That, 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 that's good enough, I guess. There's one fire spit. Man, that pot hatch back there looks empty too. I wonder if you can't see if you can't see inside it or not. Yeah. We're already on mine here. Ooh, second, second one, second one. That's nice. That's nice. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Bloody mammal. Bloody fire breath. Have I got any capes that are like slightly better defense or something? Eh, nah, not really. I guess Force Wolf Bell would be. Hey, Forceful Blow doesn't break the door, you jerk. More defense. Close enough. Do fire spit, you slut. You know you want to. Not Katon E. Fire spit. Fire spit. There you go. One more, you goofy goober. One more. One more little fire spit. Yes. Do it for the vine. Wait, what? Why didn't it hit the door? Is he like not angled properly or something? Don't do somersault kick you kick you slut. That was supposed to be the last fire spit. Come on, dude. Do fire spit. And let it hit the door. I don't even know why it didn't hit the door. That should have broke. Okay, there we go. Fucking assault being fucky. Okay, bastard. You gotta be in this one. There's only three cells. Am I glad to see you? Sorry to put you up to all this trouble. A professional like me never should have been caught in the first place. Well, I can't be hanging around here. I'll be late for my next assignment. I hate to be rescued and run, but I must be off. Motherfucker, you could have warped at any time. Oh, I'm sure I don't have to mention this, but you didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything. Got it? What a fucking slut. Okay, J8. I guess it's next to that water pond. Fuck you, Brugeal. Fuck you. But honestly, yeah, not that bad of an assault. Uh, this guide actually suggests if you're item level, just use one damage weapons that are for lock styles. And, uh, that'll let you do low enough damage to build the Build TP on the monsters so they can break the doors for you. Alternatively, you could just come on Blue Mage and use 
like Asher and Claws or Bludgeon, and uh, that 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 each hit of the spell would give them 10 TP per hit or whatever. Oh, our inventory is full. How about that? That keeps happening to me lately. It's like a never-ending problem for Final Fantasy XI. It's just having... Uh, man, only one Shiki left? Oh, okay. Uh, go through Shiki like candy these days. But yeah, we'll be able to rank up now, so... Lance Corporal, here we come. We're gonna unlock yet more assaults. I'm wondering when I'm gonna run into the uh, into a rank where like I just like get stonewalled and can't really progress the rank at 75. I'm sure it'll happen. Although I don't know the way things have been going, like some of these assaults I'm doing, they literally did take a full party of 75s to do back in the day. Some of them didn't. Some of them you just you had to bring at least three people, and you know if you're gonna bring three people, you might as well bring six. But uh, like that troll one, there's no way I would have soloed that back in the day. Not not doing Savage Blade for like 700 or whatever. Uh, Those people look like they're about to do salvage. They're talking to the salvage NPC. But you can't. We can't do salvage yet until um. I don't know what. I don't remember what mission in Treasures of Otagon. I think it's like 20 something. But like halfway through Treasures of Otagon's main story, and that guy will finally be like, "Hey, you're you're a reputable mercenary or whatever, right? I need to get me some assault points. Give me assault points, and I'll give you this this salvage permit or whatever." And so you trade assault points from any area, and uh, it uh, it's for doing salvage. We don't have to actually have to talk to Abquaba. If we already know, we can we can just rank up. So let's talk to the hot Mithra. That's kind of a bitch, but kind of not. Oh ho! Well, if it isn't calm wind, how you been? Getting used to the way things are done around here? You're in luck, because I happen to be in a pretty good mood today. Our profits have been starting to look up since you joined us. Maybe you've brought us some luck, traveler. I've also got this persistent feeling something good is going to happen today. We have returned. Oh, it's him. It's about time. What the hell took you so long? Did you deliver a supplies package to every blasted member of the Immortals? How dare you? Oh, but surely you, you didn't get lost on the way or get your supplies package stolen or anything like that, did you? Wouldn't it make a difference even if you were the Sandy Orient Temple Knights? You will call me Ryle Fowl. <laughs> oh, that's that was your name. You have to forgive me. These damn four names are so hard to remember. Obviously, it's Prince Trion. I don't remember him coming in for for, for mercenary promotion. I wonder if this is a, if I'm accidentally doing Treasure Rider Against Story Mission. You gotta be pulling my tail. How in blazes do you read this? R A I L L E F A N. You pronounce that like really fun or something? There is no N. The last letter is an L. I tell you, an L. You have a really weird sense of her humor, Sir Riffin. But I'm afraid you won't be getting any chuckles that way in either gun. Our comedy is much more sophisticated than your nation's, obviously. But whatever. You've accomplished your task, which means you finally made it into Salahim Sentinels. At least that's saying something for you. Well then, Riffle. Welcome to the world of private second class. You better prepare yourself for the jobs I'm going to give you. Second class? Calm, Wynn. Don't just stand there with your head in the clouds. Do a, 
be a good role model and drum some mercenary spirit to this gentleman. Everything should be just peachy now, right? Riffle. Hey you, private second class. My name is pronounced Rifle. Rifle! It's not that difficult. You must learn to address me with respect. Hey Riffle, wake up and smell the roses. Just who do you think you are, anyway? A prince? M most certainly not. Uh, all right, clean out your ears and listen up close. This is my board and you are my pawns. You're expendable and easily replaceable. Stand this absurdity no longer. Adventurer, do you find no fault with Natchez's foul attitude? She thinks she is a queen, but she is most certainly not. Obviously, you don't know beans about being a mercenary. Get out there in the mud with the boys and do your job, and next thing you, you'll be rolling in Gill instead. I have no room for sniveling belly acres. Find something better to do with your time than grumble and moan. Calm wind, drag this poop brained adventurers to the commission station and have them set off on the most hazardous task they can dig up. And obviously that was Prince Treon, but uh, I already said that. But I'm confused. I, I thought this was going to be uh, rank up missions. Uh oh, she's mad. Good for nothing, muttonhead son of a troll, and I was in a good mood too. Come wind, if I were you, I'd curse the luck that brought you here. Go and don't let that clot out of your sight. Okay, I don't. I I, I think that might have been for a story. I don't. I don't know if that was. Uh, okay, what? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's look in our mission log and make sure that's not, like... Oh, it is. It is fucking main story. Uh, well, I don't want to do that right now. I'd rather do my Lance Corporal promotion. So let's try zoning in and out of White Gate real quick. <sighs> my teleporting, I guess. And then we will uh, see if she says anything different. Yeah, sorry to, to, to suddenly leak in Treasure of Autogon's story. Uh, but that's kind of what happens in the first part of it. Like, the first, like, it's kind of jokey. But, like, people from the Middle Lands, three nations keep showing up. Like, Treon shows up. Shantato shows up. Um, and they're all under assumed names and pretending like they're in dis disguise, but they're not. You know. I don't remember who shows up from Bastok. But, uh, somebody shows up from Bastok. <sighs> This is what I, I get for trying to uh, to do uh, just side side stuff. Let's see, back to Idagon, please. Uh, I guess the closest some point is either of those. Oh, apparently I was supposed to talk to Abquaba for, for the Lance Corporal promotion. Well, that's kind of annoying. But but I already said before, though, I guess, each, each of the promotion quests actually have a different starting thing when you walk in there. Like, some of them literally just start when you when you get too close to Nadja's desk. At least if I remember right. But I didn't remember... I remember that Treon showed up, but I didn't remember it being like mission number four. It talked, like, just started by talking to Nadja or whatever. If 
Val Zoom. Your mercenary evaluation is falling behind every other employee. It is? If this trend continues, I'll be forced to give a less than glowing report. Ah, calm wind. You two joined our company at around the same time. Calm wind is already a superior private, but you... I don't really have to want to have to file this report. But, but I... I don't think I can improve my evaluation all by myself. That spiky mace that President Anaja carries makes me very nervous. My heart skips a beat every time she pounds it on her desk. Shaking in terror. Can't even bring myself to turn that corner. I see. How in the world did this guy become a mercenary? But Falzum, do you remember how the mercenary evaluation works? I remember. You should know that you have to carry out any task President Naja asks of you. If you don't... I know, boy do I know. I just need a little more time. Are you going to be okay? I don't know. For a moment, I'll try to gather the water. That should be something that even I can do. Should be. Hey, that's the face my friend Ko used. How's the crystal compass working for you? It's wonderful. With this little device, I can keep track of my pawns no matter where they are. All by pressing one simple switch. You Imperial Alchemists really know your stuff. You flatter me, President Naja. Actually, it was on the matter of the crystal compass that I came to speak with you. The number of mercenaries affiliated with Salahim Sentinels continues to grow, and the truth is we are unable to keep up with the production of the quartz transmitters used in your company badges. The transmitter is responsible for sending the exact coordinates to the target of the crystal compass. However, our supply of the mithrilene liquid used to create these transmitters is running dangerously low. In order to produce more of the liquid, we require water from the mithrilene well springs. Would it be possible to enlist the services of one of your mercenaries? Of course, but it'll cost extra. Or something. I can't hear you. Yes, ma'am. Your evaluations are abysmal. There's no denying it. I'm throwing you a lifeline. Your beloved president has work for you. And you better smile and take it. Read that note and scurry on over to the Alchemist Guild. Yes, ma'am. If you can't even complete this simple task, you know what's coming. What was written in the note, you ask? It was some sort of complicated formula. I'm a little worried. Aren't you, Calm Wind? This will have to be kept absolutely positively secret from President Naja, but... Would you mind giving Falsum a bit of a hand? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so where's the Alchemist Guild? Cause I don't have to remember this shit. Let's see... Oh, it's up there near the, uh, near the auction house, okay.
I guess, though, if we gotta, like, help Treon and he's at the commissions agency and that's where I want to go, then I'll have to go to the commissions agency now so that it'll be on camera so you don't miss part of the story, even though it's gonna make the rest of this mission take slightly longer, I guess. Although we have a good bit of lake work to do once, like, because we, like, we gotta go to the Alchemist Guild and talk to Nafiwa. And then uh, she gives us some key items, and we gotta basically go to these four different ponds, actually five different ponds, and get all of the. Uh, stuff, or whatever. I don't. I don't see uh, cutscene for. Let me let, let me look up the the uh, treasures of Adagon missions just to make sure that I'm not gonna like bumblefuck a cutscene. Uh, out of the let's play because I really would hate to do that on a mainline mission. Knight of Gold. The mission begins immediately after the previous cutscene, even though, like, it didn't. Okay, so, we're, we're Gucci, we're Gucci, unless I talk to Kaka Rune accidentally ever, which is like a key cairn that's like near the Moogle house, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we don't have to worry about me incidentally triggering any more cutscenes for the mainline missions. Thank God. I just wanted to make sure I could keep running Nizel between recordings and stuff. So that would be like shooting myself in the foot. I'd have to wait until I had enough time to record again. And then, uh... Like do missions until I wasn't going to bumblefuck anything anymore. But anyway, let's see. Now, Fiwa! Alright. That's right. Three Carpstone Bronze. That would make you a superior private, yes? I heard from another mercenary about the ranks within Salhima Sentinels. I'm considered an initiate of the Alchemist Guild. The mysteries of the world have barely begun to open up to me. Sometime in the not-too-distant future, I hope to focus on a research field of my own choosing and produce some solid results. I brought the water from the Serpent King's Square Fountain, just like you asked me. That's that's wonderful, and it hardly took you any time at all. I can move pretty fast when I want to. Oh, hello, Kamwin. What are you doing here? You know each other? That's right. We joined up at about the same time. Of course, Kamwin is far more... I mean, uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. So what brings you to the Alchemist Guild, Kamwin? Helping you. Help me? Yep. Are you sure President Naja mentioned anything about working alone? Kind of. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with having a little help, but I... Maybe you should take advantage of Calmwind's kind of offer. Um, I wonder if Abquaba knows about this. Uh -huh. I've seen him a time or two. Okay. Okay. So yeah, basically now we just gotta go, uh, to, uh, 
Bathile Thickets, and then Wajaw Woodlands. And we're just going to mount up and ride to each spring. They're at set locations. It's not like the Warhorse Hoofprint or anything. So it's literally just going to be how, how much raw speed we have about getting to each spring. Although, if there's aggressive monsters near them, when I hop off my mount, I'll have to do some fighting. But I kind of doubt it. I don't remember there being too many monsters too close by to them. And frankly, I don't remember there being one in Bathile Thickets. But then again, Bathile Thickets and Wajaw and Woodlands are pretty much fucking identical. So, eh. Oh, farmers bu buffing themselves with fire carol. How adorable. It says G7. I assume it's that pond. You can usually see bodies of water on the map, so... Even if I didn't have the guide, I'd have a pretty good idea of where to go. I remember being pleased as pop back in the day that uh, this was the quest, because I had wondered... I would explored these areas when I first got Treasures of Water Gone. And I, you know, saw these strange glowing pools, and I was like, ooh, what are those for? And then, you know, like, pretty early on in Mercenary Ranks, you... You get to the quest involving them. And it was a lot easier to get these than it was to find the Warhorse with Brent. Although, I don't really remember having a lot of trouble finding the Warhorse with Brent back in the day, either. So dismount. Go. Swing. Okay. Sometimes leeches are aggressive, and they if they are, they aggro sneak. And I'm really glad that those leeches were not aggressive, because they would have all linked. That would have been annoying. And I'm spoiled. Like, mounts are so fast, and I'm just thinking to myself, man, this is taking forever. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I see three, no, four, okay, I, I see them. Yeah, two of the ponds are up here, and the other two are way in the south. So we'll get the ones up here, we'll go down south, and then we'll warp. We'll use our warp ring for the ones in the south. After we grab them. Okay, so... Hopefully these leeches are also not going to aggro. It's very blue. Also, apparently we're going to have to mix these. And the guide tells me the optimal mixture. Um, but I never even knew that was a thing back in the day, like optimal mixture. But apparently it determines the secondary reward of how much, I guess, Imperial... It says Imperial Currency, and I'm not sure if it means Imperial Standing or if it means 
the coins that you can buy with Imperial Standing. Either way, not very valuable to us. Although I have so much Imperial Standing, I guess I should see what kind of money I could make off the Auction House by selling Imperial Standing currency uh, to other players. Might not be a bad way to make a quick buck. But I imagine that no one really has problems getting Imperial Standing these days since it's based off how much experience points you get when you kill monsters in Otter Gone areas. Um, like, especially with this EXP campaign going, there's probably no trouble at all. It also seems like this server is majority Japanese. Um, especially this year, like, ever since I restarted Let's Play, I have not run into very many English players at all. So, like... Eh. I did see Crew, Crew sent earlier today. He was on an alt doing A-Man Trove. And he was like, yeah, I'm just doing A-Man Trove before my sub runs out since there's a login campaign right now or whatever. I was like, aw, oh, shit. He's like, yeah, not really interested in 11 right now. I haven't played in months. Just doing 14 and the other new games and stuff. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. And I caught him up to speed on what I'd gotten done. Which none of, none of what I've gotten done is impressive to him because, I mean, he's got like master level room fencer or whatever, so. Oh look, the Warhorse of print. If only we were on that quest. Spooks, spooks. Dismount. This one looks kind of, I guess, sort of greenish, yellowish. We'll call it Grello. More like green, greeny orange, though. I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of like a sick green. I think the next one's gonna be like purple. Or maybe pinkish. Well, the next one is the last one, so. Then we'll be able to warp out of here. challenge. Yeah, these pooks are like level 69 or something to 70 or something like that. Maybe 67 to 69. You EXP on them at like 61, 62, and even 63. Okay, it's definitely purple. That's hella purple. I love it. I should entice my friend Kalila to come back to 11 just to stare at this pool of 2006 graphics. Okay. Warp ring, go! Puppy power! I'm gonna pop some ibuprofen. My throat's starting to hurt. I'm up, staying up too late again, talking too much, recording too much in a row, and. Uh, didn't get to see my girlfriend really tonight because she wanted to hang out with her sisters. <sighs> Could be worse though. I see her every day, so... I mean, it's not that I didn't see her at all. I went over to her house a couple times, but... Didn't, didn't hang out with her today, really. I just showed up and kissed her and... We walked my dogs together, and then I walked her home. 
she is she lives within walking distance. Yeah, we want the home point next to the Alchemist Guild. Yeah, I didn't have quite enough sun kiss to get these pills down. Comfortably. But I guess they'll go down eventually. I mean, after all there's people who just take pills and swallow them dry, which is really bad for you to do, but some people prefer th to do that. Hey, baby. I got your shit. To obtain luminium, choose test tube number three three times, test tube number two once, and test tube number four once, and test tube number five once. Wait a game day and zone at least once, and then return to Abquaba for a cutscene. Oh, great. We gotta wait a game day? Fuck. Falzum has been studying the process for creating the liquid. Show Kalmund what you've learned. Okay. Okay. Litmus tests. Um. I guess we would. We should look at these, right? Very dense. Okay. And then what? Number two is what? Same as number four, so what's number four? Three times faster than test tube number one. Very light, huh? And number five? Okay. The beaker can hold up to two full test tubes of water, so we can blend up to six thirds, I think. Okay, test tube number three, three times it said. We, want, we basically want all of test tube number three. Test tube number three again. Okay, and then... Um, said number two once, number four once, and then number five. Now we don't get to use number one. Number five. Blended water is shining like aluminium. That's amazing. Hand it to the guild. I'll have to let it sit overnight before I can test the liquid. I'll contact Salahim Zizzles on your behalf once I have the results. Now we can only pray for a high quality yield. Thank you so much, both of you. Gl glad everything worked out, Falzum. Son of a bitch, and J day change literally just happened. So we're fucked. We're fucked. We can't. We don't get to see the promotion happen this video. And I gotta wait. But I guess, I mean, it's okay, because, like, we'd be getting a new rank, and I would have to record the new assaults anyway before I do it back in the nice on my own time. So, uh, next time I'll open up with finishing up getting Lance Corporal. And then we'll do some Lance Corporal assaults. And then, uh, that'll be good. So, uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day.